Times are tough in Eastern Europe, and people from all walks of life, farmers and townsmen alike, stream to Mezebush to go see the Baal Shem Tov on the eve of Yom Kippur. As they finished praying the morning prayers, Baal Shem Tov stood before a large congregation of people and related the following story. He said as follows, I once lived in a certain city. I went to pray at the largest base midrash, study hall in this city. However, as I stood at the entrance, I realized I had no way to enter. I told those that were with me that I cannot enter this study hall because it's full to the rafters with Torah and prayers. So all those that were with me were very confused and they responded, but Rebbe, shouldn't it be the opposite? You would think what's holier than Torah and prayers that are said in a base midrash. So I explained to them, it's not at all what you think. All the words of Torah and prayers don't mean anything to heaven if they're not able to rise up to heaven. All the Torah and the prayers that were said in this base midrash were not said with the right kavana, with the right intent. And because of that, they were not able to rise up and they've been stuck in this, this study hall. If those people had said all those words of Torah and prayer with the right intention, then surely those words would have riven, risen heavenward and would present themselves before the throne of Hashem. And it would be very pleasing, no doubt. But until then, they're stuck here below and I cannot enter. So all the people that were listening to this story by the Baal Shem Tov had no idea why he brought it up. They'd only find out later that day. However, that's a story for another time. But I think the lesson that I learned from this is that we've just come from a full day of Yom Kippur praying before Hashem with the right intent, hopefully. And this is not something we should take lightly, not something we should let fall away. But now we go into our days and we should think about it. We should pray. We should talk to Hashem. We should try to have an intention to actually connect like we do on Yom Kippur every day. And please God, if that's the case, no doubt we'll have Gula immediately, we'll have redemption, and our prayers will no doubt present themselves before Hashem on His throne. Shavuot